think he'd succeed. And I was wrong, thank goodness. The Prime Minister's pulled a blinder here. He's delivered a deal which restores Northern Ireland's place in the Union on a wide range uh, of areas, restores free trade between Northern Ireland and the rest of the UK market, and deals with the democratic deficit. It's a triumphant achievement. The compromise here is that we're keeping open the north-south border with no infrastructure. That requires some EU law. We've managed to disapply 1,700 pages of EU law, and the amount of EU law necessary to do it is down to less than 3% of the total of EU law according to the EU. So it's a tiny proportion of EU law, and it's there to keep that north-south border free of infrastructure. But I am satisfied that this delivers the power to say no to new EU law. And, and that's a terrific achievement. The, tru the truth is, with the ERG, as with the DUP, they're going to read the text, all 119 pages of legal detail, and then they'll decide. Well, I think I can reasonably claim to be just about as Eurosceptic as any Member of Parliament, and I've read it and I'm satisfied, and I think I've got enough of a reputation that I can reasonably claim that people would know I would have resigned if I thought this was not the right deal for the country. And as late as yesterday, I thought I might have to. But I think, goodness, this is the right deal for the country, and I'll back it. I think Boris Johnson, as a matter of fact, wrote both articles. But I'm very fond of Boris Johnson. Uh, but um, uh, I, yeah, I'm very clear that Rishi was always for Brexit from...